Hello and welcome back. Today's video is part 3.2. It's the second half of the part 3 video where I'm tearing the heads off the engine to get to the um, to get to the head gaskets to replace them because of the blown head gasket issue. Smash that like button uh, if you would. <laughs> it uh, greatly helps the channel and if you're not a subscriber please subscribe. Enjoy. Okay, so today we're going to be vacuuming out and breaking down the uh, heads and getting them ready to uh, be taken off. And the first thing we got to do, if you notice those pieces of wood, is uh, take and get all the push rods out and the rockers. So we're going to be starting that here in a second. Take the manifold off, all its bolts. Well, let's spray that one more time before we start that. that off. So the nut on the actual pipe right here is 22 millimeters and this one is an inch is an inch. that apart. Now it's time for the heads. This is 9 sixteenths. So the exhaust manifold bolts, 9 sixteenths. Now we're gonna undo the manifold to exhaust bolts that are down here. So the first one off the exhaust manifold snapped right off. Second one off the exhaust manifold for the driver's side snapped right off. All right, the third one actually loosened. So we were able to get the nut off that. So those two studs broke right there. And this is the driver's side exhaust manifold. There you go. Before we start on this side of the exhaust manifold bolts, we're gonna spray the bottoms of the bolts or the studs off the manifold and go from there. All right, we, we got the exhaust manifold out of the way. We busted two studs off the exhaust, uh, not off the exhaust, off the manifold itself, trying to get it out. We have this sensor, which snapped off as its connector. And it's the wire for it, or the connector for it. Uh, so now, 
it's basically we have access to all the head bolts which we're gonna spray right there is head bolts and nuts there's one down there that we can get in with a long extension from here and uh, that's gonna get us ready to pull that off but first what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the rockers mount them then we're gonna pull the push rods and put them in these holes notice on my board it says front drivers so I'll know what order the push rods are in and the rockers that go to them and that's gonna be across the whole top of the head and then we'll finally be able to pull the head and see what's what's going on yeah I don't see anything there or on this end except for this this, this thing's mounted to it right there and, and a ground it looks like a couple grounds right there so I'm thinking if I move the head a little I'll be able to get to that because right now I don't think I can all right so my rocker bolts are 5 8 I have my board set up I have towel there to make sure nothing falls into the valley. Get my holes to put my push rods on and uh, hopefully we can get everything on there that we need to. That's done for this side. All right, now we're on this side, passenger side, doing the same thing. So we're taking both heads off because we're doing the gaskets on both. Okay, all the rockers and the push rods are out on the passenger side. I'm gonna go down below uh, and take out the exhaust uh, manifold to exhaust down to nuts and bolts or studs should I say and then I'll come up and take off the exhaust manifold studs here and I'm gonna get this tube out of the way which is right here this one we're gonna be doing the exhaust manifold on this side and getting that off so this first nut has a stud that goes all the way across. So I'm gonna use a 916 wrench to loosen it up so we can get the exhaust manifold off. This is a stud. The first nut holds on the dipstick. Oh, I need to go down here wrench on that. When taking out the exhaust manifold on this side, the plastic on this broke off. So I took it out of the head. I'll get a new one to replace it. it goes back here. So now we're ready to take off the heads and I'm going to start with this head on the driver's side because well that's where our leak was and we'll go from there this comes out right there out of the head and I don't know if you can see it uh, I had to disconnect the hose on this so I can move this out of the way to get the, uh, the exhaust manifold out. Uh. So in order to get the exhaust manifold off of this side, I had to take this hose off. This one is that one. 
that goes into one of the air the uh, air switch catalytic converter solenoid so now we're going to start on the driver's side head this guy is 5 eighths so we're gonna start on this head so there's a pattern uh, of them to tighten them and I'm gonna use the same pattern to loosen them cracked loose so now I'm gonna take them out I'll be back as soon as I'm done so the head is off and looking at the gasket there is some seep through here and uh, yeah so it was coming through right through here so I'm gonna Take a look at that. You can see as it was sitting here, get a little bit of rust on the on that. Uh, it's like all surface rust crap. So we'll get to that. But yeah, right through here. This is where it was leaking. Right through here. You can see the discoloration on the, the metal ring and the discoloration right there. So, let's look at what the bottom of this thing looks like. <clears throat> yeah, right here. Right here is where it was leaking through. You can actually see the discoloration right there. Uh, first, I'm gonna take a carpenter's square to it, clean it up. See right here. Looks like this one was something. <laughs> Hold on. So it was leaking through right here on the side. I don't know if you can see that in the glare. But uh nowhere else was it doing it on this head but right here seems to be some some liquid from something and this valve is really pitted I don't know why it's so pitted uh, yeah running hot maybe uh, we'll find out I haven't decided whether I'm going to send them out to get redone. Probably will. And go from there. But it was definitely leaking right here. So yeah. So that was the culprit. Yay. So now it's time to clean up. I got this one off. We have the passenger side one to get off. And uh... We'll go from there. We have some uh, bits of carbon in there. And I'll vac vacuum these out, get all that out. We're getting ready to take the passenger side head off. We already have the driver's side head off. We, uh, I want to take it off because I want to replace its head gasket as well at the same time. So I have new gaskets all the way up. Even though there was no leak on this side, I just want to do it and get it out of the way. I'm going to follow the same pattern that I did on the driver's side, starting with the number one of that pattern. So 
Yeah. Here we go. I just want to break them loose. They are all loosened. All right, so the head is loosened. All the bolts are out. And now it's gonna come time to pull the head. And we're gonna see if we can get that going here in a second. Make sure. All right, so it's on there pretty good. So let's just make sure they're all out. They're all out. All right. So I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna put the rubberized end into a port just to give me some leverage. Very carefully put that down very gingerly lift this up and out and we're out all right this gasket off it's not that bad this one's not bad at all but I'm putting on new ones so that I won't have to worry about it again so this is the head front of the engine with where the oil dipstick connected on this stud and that bolt held the oil dipstick in that's where that sensor was that I broke that I have to get a replacement for and I, I think it came in and uh, outside of that that's looking good so let's see what it looks like on the actual combustion side And uh, doesn't look bad. Balanced here. Everything looks pretty good. And get it cleaned up. And go from there. For those of you that don't know where to find your matching numbers on your block it is right there and yes those do match my numbers to the car and it is right behind the air compressor and in between the passenger side head and the water pump bracket right there and it's right there stamped on the block and uh, those are my matching numbers. Thank you for watching uh, part 3.2 of the engine teardown video. Uh, it was the culmination of all the parts getting down to the head gaskets so I can replace them uh, from a blown head gasket on the driver's side. And uh, if you would, please smash that like button. It really helps the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, if you would, please subscribe. It also helps our channel. And you have a good day. Thank you.